Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a Vilai Bite video. You guys know I film these every other week and I usually upload every other day on my channel. That's kind of confusing, I'm sorry. Um, but if you see this video, there should be another one around the corner soon. So anyway, if you guys like Will I Buy It, these are inspired by Samantha March and I use all of the resources that I used to make these videos down in my description box. They are links so you guys can check them out. And if you are catching me on Samantha's community playlist, hello, I hope you guys come check out my channel. I am sure most of you are quarantined and these videos are so fun for me to film and watch. So welcome to everyone. And if you guys are curious about what's on my eyeballs, I did a little battle of the palettes, so I paired up the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette against the Give Me Glow Vintage Rose Palette, which some of you may not be familiar with, but Give Me Glow is one of my favorite little indie brands and they make some fabulous eyeshadows. So if you guys want to see that battle go down, you better subscribe to my channel. I've got some Sephora content coming from you guys and I also have an exciting collab coming up next. So that'll be up on the 14th if you guys want to see who I'm collabing with. You guys better stay tuned. Okay, lots of channel announcements, lots going on. I'm so sorry. Let's get started with the Will I Buy It video. Okay guys, so let's scooch on over so we can put some photos over here. The first thing I'm seeing on Trend Mood is it looks like M Cosmetics is sneak peeking a new product. It looks like they're coming out with the Flexi Brow, which they say is a clear brow gel. It is a gel-based formula that sets brows in place without feeling wet or stiff. Now, I feel like I've definitely already found my holy grail clear brow gel. I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel. I even use it to tame my baby hairs. If you guys haven't seen that hack, you can totally use brow gel to tame your baby hairs and it's such a lifesaver when I have my hair pulled back and I want it to look all slick and, you know, sexy. <laughs> I like to throw some brow gel in my hair and I love the ABH brow gel. It does not move. It does not get crusty. It's my fave. So I'm not going to be buying this from M Cosmetics and I have tried one or two things from M Cosmetics. I've tried their, there's something on my face. I've tried their serum blush and I've tried a lipstick from them, a liquid lipstick and their eyeliner. And it's good, but yeah, it's not really my vibe. I feel like M Cosmetics is along the lines of like Glossier type brand. So it doesn't necessarily draw me in, doesn't make me do a double take. Now this, <laughs> I'm such a sucker for a colorful palette, guys. This one caught my attention. I was like, what is this palette? Like, it looks so fun and colorful. I thought it was maybe an indie brand. This is the new BH Cosmetics Midnight Festival Collection palette. So it is festival time, I guess, you know, even though it is actually quarantine and chill time. So I guess BH Cosmetics decided to launch their new festival palette and you guys know they had the super popular one from two years ago then they did the neon one last year and now they've released the midnight festival and again this one really catches my eye i think these palettes from bh have a generally good reputation in the youtube makeup community a lot of people love the original one I still have it in my collection somewhere. I think I pulled them out because I want to do like a throwback video with them and kind of like decide if I'm going to keep them or not. They're kind of on the shopping block because I believe those two were limited edition so you can't buy them anymore. Ah, uh, but look at that like neon yellow called Daisy and After Party and that beautiful like glitter green. You guys know shimmery greens are the way to my heart and there seems to be like a beautiful pink and blue shimmer that shade jewel definitely looks like a purple which you guys know is my jam they also have a brush set and some lippies not so much interested in those but that eyeshadow palette though it's i'm definitely side eyeing it and it is let's see here 15 dollars. it does look like there are some pressed glitters in this palette so that's good enough reason for me to stay away because I don't really love pressed glitters. I mean, I have some palettes that have them, but 
I'm not buying BH Cosmetics this year, so I did buy two palettes because I had like a moment of weakness. I talk about that more in my March haul video if you guys haven't seen it. It's really good if you like haul videos. You guys love it. Um, but I'm going to pass on it. I'm going to pass on it. It does look really beautiful though. I'm not going to lie. This also caught my attention because I love a good peach highlighter. This is the new Becca Shimmering Skin shimmering skin perfector in the shade own your light it looks gorgeous i love that color on that deep skin tone <gasps> it looks so beautiful and i love some highlighters i don't love all colorful highlighters but like peaches and pinks can look pretty natural on your skin tone which is what I'm really into right now. I'm really into highlights that just like blend and melt into your skin. So this one looks really, really pretty and I'm definitely curious about it, but I won't buy it because I already bought like the Jaclyn Hill eyeliner palette because it was on sale and stuff like that. And I don't need it, so it's cute, but I'm gonna pass. Okay, so there is a new drugstore collection that launched. This is the Revlon X Wonder Woman collab and They've got like an eyeshadow palette, some glossy things, I don't really know. Is there a new Wonder Woman movie coming out? I wasn't aware, but let me know what you guys think. I've been dabbling in Drugstore, but I have my favorites. Like I like Elf, I like Wet n Wild, mostly those two brands. I don't know if Revlon's like right up my alley, to be very honest with you guys. Okay, so Beauty Blender came out with a mini blender cleanser. And I really like their solid makeup cleansers for my brushes, but I don't think it's like a must-have. There's plenty of other brands that make brush cleansers and like beauty blender cleansers that you can pick. So you don't necessarily have to spend $9 on a mini solid. <laughs> I don't get it, but you know. Beauty Blender doesn't always make sense. Okay guys, so the next thing on here is the new summer collection from Clinique. And Clinique, like those blush pop, cheek pop things, have always caught my attention. They're so cute because they have that little flower imprint. And I have lusted for Clinique Cola Pop for so, so long. It's actually embarrassing and then they did these really cute bronzers and highlighters. I saw them on Sephora. I think if you are shopping the sale, it might be a great time to pick them up. They look a little light for me. The Moisture Sugar Pop Triple Lip Balms look really cute. There's like lip balms coming out of every wear because everyone's so into like a light wash of color on their lips. Today on my lips, I'm wearing a new Pat McGrath lip gloss that I picked up during the Pat McGrath spring sale. I have it right here. I'm so excited. I love her glosses. This is in the shade Flesh 6. So you can shop that at the Sephora sale too if you guys want it. I like her glosses because they're not sticky and they're so nice and glossy and juicy. So as Kathleen Lights would say. The next thing on here, I was like, listen, like... Who does Charlotte Tilbury think she is launching $80 skincare in a time like this? So she is launching the Magic Serum. It's a crystal elixir for hydration and youthful looking skin. It's $80 for 30 milliliters and it launches April 16th on Charlotte Tilbury's website. So I'm guessing it may come to Sephora in time for the sale because the sale I think goes to like May, which... I'm like low-key excited about because I literally spent like my whole makeup budget for April already. So I'm hoping that I can pick some things up with my next paycheck. Like, but seriously, the sales have been insane, have they not? <laughs> so anyway, that looks really nice. I mean, I'm all for hydration. I really want a new oil for my skin during the Sephora sale, I've been contemplating like should I go back to Juno because Juno used to work so well on me and then it stopped working but I've taken quite a break from it so I'm thinking if I get it again like it should work but I'm not like a huge fan of serums. I like to have like lots of hydration just like piled on my face whereas serums are more like long term I feel like. 
I don't actually know because I'm not really a skincare expert, but that's my theory. So Sol de Janeiro came out with another glow oil. This is the Carnival Queen, which is a pink golden glow. I feel like this color is like that perfect duochrome that everyone loves, which is like a pink with a gold shift. Um, I personally don't really need to have multiple glow oils in my life, so that's an easy pass for me. And then we have some new highlighters from Makeup Revolution. So these definitely look like a knockoff of those Smashbox Vlada highlighters that she came out with quite a, quite a while ago. Um, personally, these look like very glittery. They are $15 and they're pretty, but personally I'm not into it, so easy pass for me. And then we have these little things from Kaja. I just want to talk to whoever is in charge of Kaja. Can you make some colorful bento boxes? Because, like, I would really like a blue and a green bento box. I think that would be so cute because their shimmer formula is actually really bomb. Why are you making these freaking... What is this? It's a cheek stamp. Like, nobody wants to walk around with a moon stamp on their face like that, Kaja. I'm assuming you can blend it in. Like, I'm assuming you can use it as, like, highlighter bronzer situation. But that's not how it's being advertised, which makes me think that they actually think people are going to walk around with, like, a star and a moon stamped on their face for $24. I think not, Kaja. Pass. Okay, these are so cute. Kristen Dominique is launching skin glosses in four shades. So she had one shade in her Prisma palette, which was her highlighting palette. It was like a really awkward like octagon or hexagon or something. I was never really into it, uh, but these single shades look so fun and glossy. I'm really into that like lit from within highlighter right now. So these look really good. I know a lot of my friends pick these up. I, th I know Britt Clark for sure picked up the bundle, so I'm like, mm, give me a review, Britt, you know? And maybe like Sunset Glow I could pick up from, from Sephora if it comes to Sephora. So I definitely have my eye on that. And yeah, they're 25 bucks and $80 for the set. And I'm really curious to hear more about it from people that pick it up. Okay, so if you guys don't already know, they did announce the Sephora sale. I'm very excited because I have my eye on a few things. The main thing I want to pick up during the sale is the Tatcha Primer. The dewy blah 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 primer from the putty to the liquid. I want to try the liquid one because I've heard nothing but good things. That's the main thing on my list from the Sephora sale. If I don't get anything else, I'll be okay. But I really want that primer. So the sale starts on the 17th for Rouge through May 1st, and that's 20% off. VIB is the 21st through the 29th, 15% off. And then Beauty Insider is 23rd through the 27th for 10% off. I did hear a lot of people that aren't shopping the sale did make a very good point that you can probably get better deals on other sites if you're not Rouge. Like if you're Beauty Insider or just the VIB, um, if you're Beauty Insider or VIB, you might as well shop like better discounts because there are better sales out there. Oh my gosh, I saw Marc Jacobs was like 50% off this week and I'm like, holy moly, like what is going on? It's, it's nuts. Like all these brands want our money, which I kind of understand because they need to play, they need to pay their employees. Like it's such a slippery slope. These times we're living in, they are unprecedented guys. So MAC finally launched, pre-ordered, whatever, their Selena Round 2 collab. So there's lipsticks, there's lip pencils, retro matte lipsticks, extra dimension skin finishes, lip glasses, eyeshadow palette. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Really not into any of this stuff. I know MAC pulls out some good stuff every once in a while, but not really interested in any of that. So easy pass for me. Now, this Hourglass Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. I didn't want it in 2017, but for some reason, everyone's raving about it, and it's making me, like, side-eye it. It's $64. I'm gonna pass on it because I really don't need another highlighter. I need to be stopped on the highlighters, so I'm gonna pass on it, but it looks really good. 
Here's another skincare product I would like to try, but it's probably expensive because it's fresh and I don't think this is out yet. This is a new member of their Rose family. It is the Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. So everyone loves serums and like I said, I'm really into hydration so I'd be curious to try it, but I probably won't buy it because it's probably going to be expensive. Fenty Beauty is sneak peeking a skincare line, which is exciting. I mean, I feel like skincare and Fenty are an obvious next step for Rihanna because she's kind of in that like mid-range price point. She's not luxury, but she's not like Sephora collection price. So I'd be really curious to see what her skincare is like. And I'm hoping for some good finds because you guys know I'm not really like a skincare expert. So if somebody can tell me like what to use, like steps one through five, that would be awesome. So the next thing that launched is a new palette from Too Faced. They are adding to their Tutti Fruity family. So they have the Papaya Eyeshadow Palette and the Strobing Bronzer Highlighting Duo in Toasted Pine for $30. I honestly don't know who could wear that bronzer highlighter duo. It's very odd. Like the bronzer looks like it would work on my skin tone, but then the highlighter on my skin tone would be so like I don't know, it would look like I was wearing probably yellow eyeshadow on my face, so not quite sure. I guess I'd have to see it in person. The Papaya Eyeshadow Palette looks pretty light, kind of boring, so easy passes on all of that. Okay, more serums. So for Sally Revealed, a new quench serum. This is a oh, moisture replenishing serum by Forsali. Helps to hydrate and replenish moisture in the skin by using a unique complex of low high molecule ve, uh, molecular weight hyaluronic acid ser blah 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 okay it looks it looks very hydrating so very curious about that okay so i don't think i talked about this in my last will i buy it video but natasha denona launched a new little eyeshadow palette a mini retro palette which are five dreamy colors for romantic retro looks that is one of the palettes I have on my eyes today and she also launched a mini bloom blush which is a light diffusing blush which is a vibrant coral. I'm also wearing that on my face. I love the blush so so much. If you guys want to see that video it'll be up very soon on my channel like I said in the intro. The next thing I want to talk about is this new palette by Sigma Beauty. This is the Cor de Rosa. Sigma palette and it is so beautiful. The initial photos of this palette did not do it justice and after I saw some other influencers get it I totally picked it up. It's set to launch on the 14th but I had heard like rumors flying around the internet that it was available and I was like oh maybe they like accidentally launched it because sometimes brands do that and then I was talking to one of my subscribers and she said she had ordered it and so I just like googled the palette and it came up on google so I ordered it. <laughs> I ordered it like a savage. It's such a neutral palette, but it looks so gorgeous. I saw Kelly Gooch review it already, and I don't know. Something about it really like sold me, so I like snatched it up. So Summer Friday's new lip butter balm is available. It is a silky vegan lip mask for $22. I'm still using a Laneige skin mask that I have, and I also have the Tatcha one, so I don't really need another lip mask right now, but it does look yummy. And then Linda Hallberry, which is a Swedish indie brand, she launched a highlighter named Vir Virgio, I think? It looks like Virgo. I almost said Virgo, but it's one of the shades in her Infinity palette. So she launched the highlighter as a single. It looks like it's going to be super flattering on really light skin tones. I know Amy ordered it, so if you guys are very fair, you might want to check out Amy's channel because I'm sure she'll have a video up on that pretty soon here. There is so much makeup, you guys. It's insane. Okay, so I think that's it for me for mainstream brands. Let me hop on over to Indie Makeup Spotlight, which is run by my friend Amy. Shout out to Amy. Okay, so here's one I wanted to talk about with you guys. Kristen Lee Cosmetics, which if you aren't familiar with, they are a indie brand. And I added them to my list of brands I want to try this year. And just in time, it's like they were thinking of me. They are doing a sale as well as a new collection called the Spring Fever Collection. I'm going to post a picture of the swatches here. 
oh my god that shade bloom sunkiss lemonade mother nature meadow i i actually really like all the shades so this is totally on my list of things to buy i am so so excited to be picking that up and then one of my other favorite brands terra moon cosmetics they are coming out with a single palette so it's a magnetized palette that you can use for their eyeshadows it's so beautiful it has like a galactic vibe to it i know a lot of people really like to collect magnetic palettes from their favorite indie brands so if you have been on the hunt there is one for you and then i just just saw this on one of my favorite indie brands pages Gimme Glow gave us another picture of the new palette, the spicy palette that they are planning on launching either in April or sometime soon, hopefully. So got my eye on that as well. So I feel like everyone's really busy coming out with new stuff, even though, you know, some people are trying really hard not to shop. I think Samantha Mart really explained it well in her stories and I think maybe in her video, I can't remember, maybe it was her Will I Buy video, she kind of just said like it's so hard because you want to support other brands and companies and even makeup companies still have employees, still have people that they need to pay, still have mouths to feed, still have influencer collabs they owe money on so you know it doesn't really help if we all just completely stop and you know I think it's just like a personal thing if you are able to you definitely want to you know go ahead and buy what makes you happy and if you're not able to that's okay too because there is still so much content for you guys to watch and make wish lists and make lists. Lists are so fun. <laughs> like I recently uploaded an indie makeup wish list and you guys really liked that. There was definitely some makeup on there that I had purchased, that I had not purchased, that I'm lusting for. So it's okay, you know, cope however you want to cope. You guys are always welcome on my channel. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I will go ahead and link my Will I Buy playlist here at the end for you guys. So if you like to see this kind of video, I've been making these videos for like two, three years now. So there's a ton of content for you guys to check out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys!